All right, so at this point, we, uh, we have some new design for our, our project. Um, what we'll do is we need to run your, your project either in an emulator or um, a browser or the device. And then we'll use the the um, what's it called the um, oh the Android monitor to be able to take screenshots. So I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna run our project, our current project, off of a real device. So if you have the tablet and such, we'll do this. If you don't have a real device, you can run from the emulator, and this will still work. So I'm going to go, I'm going to save all my files. I'm going to go to the node command prompt. And I'm going to run my project on my device. So remember how to do that. Everyone's been doing it. Cordova. Run Android dash dash device. If you don't have a device, you can do Cordova emulate Android. So we need to have either a our project running on a real device or a virtual device so we can take a screenshot of our app running on a device. Amazon and Google and Apple want screenshots of your project to show this is what it looks like before you download it. Okay, so eventually I get the project, it loads up in my, um, in my device, and seeing it on my device again reminded me that my splash screen says my template. So maybe I'll make that part of the homework that you need to do. So then uh, I do see the other screens. Okay, so I want to take some screenshots of some of the important parts of my app. The way we do that is we use the Android monitor. If you open up computer, go to the C drive, local disk C, C as in cat. Then we go to the Android folder. So on the C drive, we'll go into Android. C as in cat, yes. And then we'll go into the SDK folder. And then the tools folder. So we did this briefly a while ago. In the C drive, Android folder, SDK folder, tools folder, and here you'll find a file called monitor. You want to right click it and select run as administrator. monitor.bat. When you, when you run it, right-click, run as administrator. When you run it, you might get a pop-up that appears behind some of your windows. So I've, I don't have other windows running really, but I think for a lot of people, if you've got a lot of windows running, this weird little thing happens that eventually that pops up, but it doesn't appear down here anywhere. And you've got other things on top of it, and you're waiting and waiting. Where's my monitor? Well, this appears first for you to uh, for you to accept or not 
but it usually pops under other windows. So if you if by now you don't see this, move your windows out of the way, and it's probably there. It doesn't show up anywhere here in the taskbar. So here about usage statistics. Doesn't matter what you put here, but I'll put no just so that it doesn't use up my bandwidth. Um, shouldn't really matter. But then I'll click proceed. And eventually I will get an item in the taskbar right there. This is what I want to use, the Android monitor. This can let me take screenshots. On the left side, if I'm running this on an emulator or real device, I will see it listed here. If I'm running it in the browser, we have to do it a little bit different. But in the, uh, in the devices here, I've got my current real device plugged in, and I've got two apps running. The one that matters is the one I, I'm working with right here. So this is the app that I care about. I'm going to then activate the screenshot feature, that little camera. Screen capture. This shows a picture of what's on my screen. It's not live, so if I move from different screen to different screen, I have to click refresh. So go to different screens and save about at least four screenshots. I forget if you need three or four, but we'll be safe with four. You need a minimum. Let's go with four. I'm going to click Save this screenshot. It's going to save it as a ping file. I will save four screenshots onto my flash drive of different uh, screens that show off what my app is about. some other screen. I have to refresh to see it. I'll save that one. I'm going to save a screenshot before I add any classes, and then I'll save a screenshot with classes actually saved. Well, it's it's not active. You you have to move to where you want and then press refresh. No, no, you have to you have to move it on the device. You have to. It's not controlling your device. Saving Save them to your flash drive so that you can use them on, on our later steps. Oh, I It should be capturing everything. On my screen, it's cutting off. Yeah, as, as mine. But it should be capturing the whole yeah. screen. Yeah. See, just to see that, I can I can rotate the screen. It, it is there. You know, just rotating it, it is there, it's just that it's cutting off on my screen. Wait with you one moment. I'm going to save, save at least four screenshots showing off different screens on your project.
All right, so uh, you want to use the monitor or another way to take a screenshot. You want four screenshots that show off your project. Uh, we'll take our first break just to make sure you've got some screenshots. Uh, and then we'll go on after the break to make some other elements. We need to make icons and other things. So it's about 7.20. We'll take a short break, 7.30, and then we'll go on.